So when you're shooting video, you tend not to change the shutter speed too much, if at all. It tends to be either 1 50th or 1 60th of a second, depending on the system you're on, PAL or NTSC, and more of that in a moment. If you're shooting stills, you may want to freeze the action more, and therefore you might put the shutter speed up, and you may want to blur something, so you may deliberately want to lower it, or it might just be personal preference of what you like, depending on the lighting conditions. When you have a video camera, you tend to leave it. But when you're shooting on, say, a DSLR or mirrorless camera, you might be changing the shutter speed. So you're using the same camera to video, and then you forget to change it. So one thing to keep in mind is always look to check that you're back on 1 50th or 1 60th of a second. So how do you know if you're PAL or NTSC? Well, PAL tends to be things like the UK, places in Europe, although there are some variations and Australia, whereas NTSC is places like America, Canada, Japan, and some others. And I've got a link below this video, which takes you to a Wikipedia page that shows you which country. So PAL tends to be uh, 1 50th of a second, and NTSC 1 60th of a second. There's very little in it, though, when it comes to what I'm going to demonstrate to you in a moment of what effect that actually has. So just bear that in mind that you might need to just double check this, and it's always a good idea. So when I'm using my video camera, I rarely change it. So when do you want to change it? Well, you might want to freeze the action, but it can also, like for sports and things like that, however, it might not look very natural when you're playing it back. So 1 50th, 1 60th of a second is much more natural on our eyes. So if you're not sure about the PAL and NTSC thing, where can you find it in your camera? So if you go into your menu, on my camera it's here in the settings and I can see video system. If I select that you can see I've got a choice of NTSC or PAL. Now the PAL is the one that I'm here in the UK and if I now go to my camera settings, let me just go back one, you'll see I've got movie record size and you can see it's 25 frames per second or 50 frames per second. There's also 24 frames per second just here. There's the 50, I'm gonna to stick to 25 here. So if I was to come out of that and then go into my NTSC setting, and let's just choose that, let's do that. Now I'm just gonna jump forward to here and you'll see now that the movie record size has changed to 30 frames per second. 24 is still here. And now you've got 60 frames per second as well. So that tells you what frame rate you've got in your camera. I'm just gonna go back now to put mine back to PAL because that's what I want and I don't want to suddenly start shooting and then be in the wrong system. And it's a good idea to be in the right system because you can get things like flicker from lights if you're in the wrong one. So if I'm here in the UK and I'm on the NTSC setting, one of the things that can happen is I get flicker from lights, particularly things like fluorescent lights and things like that, because the PAL system is on 50th, I'm gonna be on a 50th of a second, and guess what? Fluorescent lights flicker at 50th of a second here and basically 60th of a second in countries normally where there's NTSC, and that's due to our power supply of 50 hertz and 60 hertz. Is it a coincidence? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's take a look now at what else the shutter speed can do. So it can actually freeze motion as well. Now you're normally on 50th or a 60th of a second. And what I want to do is just take a look here. I've got some coffee beans that I was pouring into a bowl and I thought this was a good demonstration so you could see what happens. So here I'm on a 50th of a second and if you're using NTSC, you can just simply equate that to a 60th of a second. So here we are, if I play that, you can see if I freeze frame that the beans are blurred. And when you're watching it, it looks blurred there. So I'm going to just pause it again. So what happens when I go to a hundredth of a second? Well, they're less blurred. Can you see that? I've done a freeze frame on it. Let's just go back and that's 50th. And you can see it looks a bit blurry and that's a hundredth, you can see it looks a little bit sharper there. So what happens when I put it up to two hundredth of a second? 
So let's just do that. Here it is on 200th, freeze frame it, and you can see it's sharper again. So basically, the higher the shutter speed, the more likely it is to freeze it, and you won't then have what's known as motion blur. However, the way that we see, we automatically do have motion blur when we're looking at things. Let's just take a quick look here at what would happen if I dropped it down to a 30th. That's still 200, that's a 30th. And you can see when I freeze it, there's a lot of motion blur there. Do we see this when we're watching TV? No. Does it help? Well, it can do, especially if you want to freeze frame or do slow motion. But actually, if you have it, if I go back to say 200th of a second, you'll see actually it might not look very natural because our eyes when we're watching something don't see each of the beams kind of falling individually like that. So 50th or 60th of a second is a good place to be. So you can now see what the shutter speed actually does. It's good to be on a 50th or a 60th of a second depending on what system you're on. And don't forget that changing the shutter speed actually also changes your exposure as well. So you need to adjust that. You may have seen when I was doing the different shutter speeds that the exposure did change a bit, although I did compensate a little bit for it. So the one key thing to remember as well is if you're using a DSLR or mirrorless camera, it's easy if you're taking photographs where you're probably using a different shutter speed to change it. And then when you go to video, you haven't changed it back. So whenever you switch to video, first thing to check is that shutter speed and you should be okay.